A boat that enables disabled anglers easy access to get out on the water is being showcased in Southampton as part of the SeaWork International event. The Kulam V20, the newest model from the Wheelie Boat Trust, provides wheelchair users an easy way of enjoying their favourite water-based pastimes. Our reporter Ben Treppers met the men behind the venture. Whether it be racing, fishing or just getting a bit of sea air in your lungs, messing about in boats is a simple pleasure. But at the best of times and with two legs in working order, making a graceful entrance or exit from a craft can prove a tough ordeal. If you're in a wheelchair, however, it's essentially impossible. However, the team at the Wheelie Boat Trust have spent the last 32 years since their inception helping get disabled people back onto the water. Their latest model provides an extra oomph in performance that can allow its users more options for sea adventures and a top speed of over 30 knots. This model is, is the next step in the line, so rather than just be confined to inland lakes, canals and rivers, we can now get people on the water on inshore waters, you know, go out in the Solent and other places that you know, require a, a larger, more stable, more powerful boat. So it's, it's the next logical step and um, we've been working with the boat builder Jim Coolen now for over 10 years. We worked with him to design a fishing boat for the River Tweed uh, and then we took that design uh, for still water fishing so we were building and supplying a purpose-built angling boat rather than just a, you know, a box look, a, 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 a box-like uh, really boat for fishing. So disabled anglers could actually fish in a boat that looked like and performed like all the other boats in the fishing fleet. With progress comes a greater range of opportunities. Andy highlighted a few of the projects in the pipeline for the V20. We're fundraising for um, other projects, uh, two of which are very close to fruition and another four or five in the pipeline. So it's generating a huge amount of interest and inquiries from outward bound activity centres, sailability groups, groups that want to get more people on the water for more adventurous activities. And uh, this, this, this boat is really you know, ticking all those boxes and you know, creating a huge amount of work for us, which is what we're here to do. One further game brought about by a boat like this is it allows anglers confined to a wheelchair the chance to compete against their able-bodied compatriots. The vessel's designer explained how it's levelling the playing field and providing a more inclusive element to the sport. This boat provides access for everybody, um, whether they are uh, wheelchair bound or, uh, or disabled um, or just can't uh, get into a normal boat. Um, the, uh, the opportunities uh, for the boat are, are fairly wide and, um, and, and obviously one of the uses are, uh, are water taxis. So we can use them um, to get uh, kids, dogs, uh, push chairs on board um, as well as obviously the, the, where the uh, trust benefits from uh, for the disabled access. Jim also gave an example of how the boat can help regain or retain a continued social life. One of the uh, boats in production at the moment is for a uh, gentleman who had, a, uh, who had an accident. Uh, he's wheelchair bound, but he still likes to go out with his family and enjoy the water sports as much as what everybody else does. So um, for him, it'll be an absolutely fantastic family boat um, that they can all can use. Ben Treppis, for that Solent.